Is this focused? Let's hope so. Orange may be my color. Let's go. If you guys have not seen my latest vlog, honestly, pause this video, watch that vlog, or maybe not. Maybe this video is the first video you guys should watch and then watch my vlog. Anyways, I posted a couple days ago a days in my life of an MBA student because I am an MBA student and I really wanted to film this video for you guys, talking to you guys about the MBA program, why I chose to do MBA school, why I decided to go to grad school in general, how I feel about grad school, and everything like that. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, I'm not going to give a long introduction because I honestly hate those, but subscribe to my channel down below and do all that other stuff. And let's start talking about grad school. So if you guys have never seen my face before, hi, my name is Chayla. I graduated with my undergraduate degree from North Carolina Central University, where I majored in kinesiology, sports medicine, basically on the track to become a physical therapist. And I'm currently in the MBA program, which is a master's of business administration. So first off, what the heck is an MBA or a master's of business administration. <laughs> Homegirl has a definition because um, I need a clear definition of what the heck I'm studying. An MBA stands for business administration, well, master's of business administration. It's a master's degree that offers a broad-based business education designed to teach skills that can help you succeed in any business area from economics and marketing to financial management and social responsibility. What the heck does that mean? Honestly, I don't know. But that is what I'm majoring in. So I've currently been in the MBA program for about seven months now, which is honestly insane. Even though my program's online, I've still been in it for seven months. And honestly, I can't believe it. Like, it's honestly going by really fast. Um, I graduate next December, hopefully if everything works out correctly. And I'm really excited to kickstart this new journey, this new career that I'm thinking about. I'm honestly scared, but I'm really excited to do so. Let's just start with why I even decided to get my MBA because that's a story. So I've actually considered getting my MBA for a long time, honestly, when I was a senior in college. And so I was either thinking about going to NC State for my MBA or the school that I graduated from, which was Central, because originally I was thinking about going to PT school and I was kind of on the fence if I wanted to go to PT school or if I wanted to go to MBA school. And so I was going back and forth to not know what I wanted to do. So then 2020 rolls around, I graduate from college and then I get my job as a physical therapy tech and I love it. And something in my head, I just like kept thinking about MBA school. I kept going back to MBA school and I don't know why, but I just, I just kept thinking about MBA school and I kept thinking about social media and YouTube because I've honestly I've always wanted to do YouTube and social media ever since I was little and watching YouTube. Like I wanted something business wise and I've always said like I want a business. I want to run a business. I want to work for a business high up and I finally made the decision literally almost like a year today. I was at the beach and I I actually filmed a video deciding that I was getting my MBA. I didn't post it. I honestly probably should, but it was just a video I made for myself. And I decided that I was getting my MBA. And look at us now. I'm seven months in and it's definitely different. It's a lot different from my undergrad, which was kinesiology, but it's very interesting. So, so far I've taken four classes. I'm about to start my fifth class and my concentration is marketing. I'm not entirely set on if I'm going to be like finding a job in marketing. I'm actually thinking about healthcare. So an MBA within healthcare and marketing, um, think about stuff like that. But honestly, the world is my oyster. I think that's the saying, but I'm definitely open-minded to so many different things. This is what can you do with an MBA? You can actually do so many things with an MBA. It's honestly insane. Like with my undergraduate degree, it's very limited. You either go to PT school, OT school, chiropractor school, MD, PA. That's pretty much it. Athletic trainer. Whereas if you major in business, you can literally do so many things. And I think that's one thing that I liked. It's honestly a little too broad, but... It, it gives me like so many ideas and opportunities and that's something that I was really drawn to because I'm the type of person I honestly don't know what I want to do I have like a ballpark idea of what I want but I generally don't know what I want to do 
So I looked up what exactly can you do with an MBA and this is just some of the job titles that I found. Accounting manager, finance manager, financial analyst, budget analyst, data analyst, investment banker, investment fund manager, marketing manager, that's just some examples. Of course, there's thousands of other jobs that you can have with an MBA, but this is just some of the common ones. So something I do want to talk to you guys about is, is an MBA worth it? And that's honestly a very controversial topic. A lot of people say, if you look online, that MBA is not worth it. I've looked at so many videos, so many articles before starting to see if I should even really get an MBA. Is it worth it? Is it necessary? Can I find the same exact job without having a degree? And honestly, some people are going to say that it's necessary. Some people are going to say it's a waste of time. You honestly just have to follow your gut and decide for yourself if you think this degree is worth it or not. And that's one reason why I am happy that I'm making this video is because I was you guys. I wanted some videos talking about the MBA program. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I wanted to know if it was a good idea, if it was not a good idea. And I didn't want like the generic YouTube video from the school making like their ad telling me to go. Like no, I wanted to see a real person talking about it and so since I can't find that myself, I'm going to be giving you guys my information and my knowledge on what I've figured out since starting the program. I honestly think that yes and no. Yes, you probably don't need to get an MBA to get one of the jobs that I'm mentioned, but I do think having an MBA and having that experience might make it a little bit easier for you. And one big part of having an MBA and like being in the program is you are networking so much. I have met some high level people, like some like high tech companies where I've met like senior analysts or like in senior investment bankers or like people that are like pretty high up there in their job description, well like in their job title. And I would have never met these people if I didn't do that. Like literally one of my coworkers, I just found them an internship because of people that I know and I'm con connecting one of my friends and another one of my friends that I met through the program and I just like gave their daughter an internship at a company because I knew people. Like literally it's stuff like that. LinkedIn, you'll find so many people network with your LinkedIn. If you guys do not have LinkedIn, which is how you can find jobs network with people literally if you guys do not take anything from this video download linkedin and make yourself a profile okay so next is why did i choose an mba versus an mha so if you guys don't know what an mha that is a masters of healthcare administration um which is similar but it's just instead of business it's healthcare and it's just like healthcare focused and for the longest time i actually considered getting my mha but the reason why i didn't want to do that is because i didn't want to be limited to only finding jobs in healthcare i'm pretty sure i want to work in healthcare but i'm not like one thousand percent sure so i didn't want to limit myself to only one type of department so that is why i decided to get my mba but i was actually very close to getting my mha how do you get into an MBA program? So honestly, every school is different getting into an MBA program. Um, some of the schools that I looked up, you have to take the GRE. One of my requirements of like schools that I wanted to go to is I wanted to go to a school that did not require a GRE because I do not like taking tests. Well, standardized tests. My school, you had to have at least a 3.2. You had to have letter of recommendations. We had to have a cover letter. We had to have our resume. We had to have two years, no, yeah, two years of professional work experience. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to have. But I know other schools have it a lot harder of entries. There's a lot of other schools you might have to write an essay. Um, but yeah, I didn't have to do any of that. I only applied to two schools and I got into both schools. And both of the schools that I applied to are online schools. That is also something that I really wanted. You can have online classes in-person classes. I went the online route because I am still working, but honestly, we still get the same education. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy with the decision that I made. Next is the type of classes that you take. The classes that I've taken are very different. Like I've said before, um, the stuff that I take is marketing, IT, business analytics, um, economics, accounting, finance, stuff like that. Um, 
they're not the easiest classes, but they're doable. They're, it's, it's okay. It's definitely time consuming, but it's definitely doable. And especially if you have gotten like your bachelor's in business administration, I feel like this program might be a little bit easier for you. But since I don't have any business knowledge, it is a little harder, but you also don't have to necessarily have a business degree to get your MBA. You can literally major in anything. Like myself, I majored in kinesiology. I have someone else that majored in criminal justice and now she's in this program. Um, I have someone that did IT, now they're in this program. I have someone that is, I have a lot of nurses and doctors in this program that are now like changing their career path and wanting to do this. So like it's a very broad group of majors that are in this program, which is something that you'll see a lot of when you're in master's, master's? In a master's program. <laughs> Also, when looking to join an MBA program, you need to make sure that it is accredited. Other than a lot of jobs don't really want you if you went to a school that isn't accredited, which means they just hold the standards from the National Business Association. So the associations that my school has is the AACSB. That's just the association that my school's part of. And I, I think that's like the most national business association i'm honestly not too sure about that but just make sure that the school that you're going to is accredited okay so i think that is everything that i have to talk about for today's video if you have any questions about mba school grad school anything like that leave those comments down below i'll be sure to answer those if you have any other video requests let me know i would love to film that subscribe to my channel down below and i'll see you guys next time for another video bye